Hey everybody, Mark Agnese here again in the back room in Norman's Rare Guitars. It's Friday. Some of you guys are probably already done with your week. We gotta work Saturdays. It sucks. It <laughs> does, suck. man. It Every does. week. Saturday. You never get a Saturday. Whatever. Hey, it's time for Guitar of the Day. Got something we don't do all the time here. Something I don't get very often. I actually had one uh, a few weeks back and it sold before I had a chance to uh, do a video with it. Luckily, we got another one. Uh, cool Epiphone Thinline guitar. Why don't you guys come back? This thing is from 1966. Uh, this is an Epiphone Riviera. We can't show any Epiphone guitars without talking a little bit about Epiphone first because people get confused and there's all sorts of misconceptions about Epiphone guitars. Um, Epiphone was their own company. They're one of Gibson's biggest competitors, uh, especially in the archtop jazz uh, box game. Uh, in 1958, Gibson purchased Epiphone uh, and from the years from 1958 to 1970, Gibson was made in Kalamazoo, Michigan. I'm sorry, Epiphone was made at Gibson's factory in Kalamazoo, Michigan by the exact same employees using mostly the exact same stuff. Uh, a lot of them did get shipped to England, but it's not really until after 1970 that Epiphone becomes this uh, lesser quality import brand of Gibson's. All right, so uh, that being said, at that time, there's almost, uh, for every Gibson model that they made, there's like an Epiphone equivalent. Um, the Riviera would be the equivalent of like a 335. Uh, we did the Casino uh, last week. Casino would be like the ES330 Gibson. And they also did a Sheraton, which would be like the fancier version of this with gold parts and the ebony board, which would be like the 355. Uh, this goes with the acoustic guitars. This goes with all this stuff. Uh, there's usually you know, J45's Epiphone Texan, Gibson Dove, uh, Epiphone Frontier, Caballero, Humming, there, you know, there's there's all of the different uh, kind of, you know, models that Epiphone did that's kind of the takeoff of the Gibson model. The big difference on a lot of the Epiphone guitars uh, is the scale length. Um, a lot of the Epiphone guitars are 25 and a half as opposed to 24 and three quarter like most of the Gibson stuff, 25 and a half, more like the Fender scale length. A little bit longer scale, a little bit more tension, makes a lot more difference on the acoustics. You can hear that snap from that little bit of extra tension a little bit more on the uh, Texans. But uh, this guitar is cool, still has the center block like a 335. Instead of the full-size humbucker, almost all of the Gibson guitars use the mini humbucking pickups. Um, this has got the Frequensator tailpiece. Uh, which is cool, gives you an uh, ability to add more tension or take tension off uh, on certain strings. You got the cool long Epiphone headstock and uh, really clean guitar, man. Nice condition. Original uh, soft shell case, which is cool. Um, Epiphone cases uh, would look normally like this kind of slate gray. They're hard case with the navy blue velvet interior. The soft case, man, looks the same, but it's more of like the cardboard case. You know, we're not just here to educate you guys about guitars. We're going to talk about cases too. That's how big of nerds we are. Why don't we go out front and plug this thing in? What do you say? All right, we're out front here. We have the 1966 Epiphone Riviera uh, going through a stock 410 Hot Rod DeVille. EQs at noon, a little bit of reverb. Uh, we're going to start up here on the neck mini humbucking pickup and uh, let's see what kind of sounds we can get out of that thing. <laughs> we go to the uh, middle pickup here, middle position, which is going to give us a uh, combination of both the neck and bridge pickups together. See what kind of sounds we can get out of that here. Stop before we get to any more chord changes. All right, lastly, let's go down to the bridge pickup. Uh, let's throw a little overdrive on it. And uh, let's see what kind of sounds we can get out of that thing.
Hey, it's Friday. You guys have a great weekend. While you're at it, why don't you go online and check out this 1966 Epiphone Riviera. Got a Frequencator tailpiece, too many humbuckers, original sunburst finish. Check me out on Instagram at, at Mark Agnesi. Follow the store at, at Norman's Rare Guitars. And check us out online at normansrareguitars.com. We'll see you guys tomorrow. It's Stratter Day. Yeah!